Hi, what I'm going to do here is what's called a nested tween. And to do this, I'm going to first use a motion tween. So the first thing, I'm going to use a shape, which I'll convert to assemble using the selection tool, which is V shortcut. Go up to modify, convert to symbol. And I'm going to use a graphic symbol and I'm not going to name it. And I'm going to come down to the first timeline and add create motion tween. So that gives me, I'm going to make a little bit more length. That gives me 55 frames. So now I'm going to make the move and you see the path. Change it a little bit. What I'm going to do now is go into the timeline of the graphic by clicking, double clicking on the graphic itself. And as you see, it's an object right here. I'm going to add a keyframe, uh, maybe on 15. Insert shape tween. I come out to, to frame 15 and change the shape a little bit. So now come back to scene one and do test movie. So that's called a nested tween. And one good thing you could do with this is something with text, which is going to be a little bit more. Doing this is fairly simple. Doing it with text would be a little bit more complicated because what you have to do is break up the, uh, I'm going to add a new layer, break up the text. I'll lock that layer, which is a, always a good idea to lock a layer if you're not using it. And the first tween will be a motion tween, and then after the motion tween, tween will be a shape tween. So the first thing I'm going to do is add text and create a symbol. using the selection tool, it's already selected. Modify, convert to symbol. I want a graphic symbol, it's already a graphic. And I'm gonna add a motion tween. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move the playhead up a little bit. And maybe I'll round that a little bit. Not now, the next, what I want to do next is, uh, this is the motion tween I've just done. So I'm in the timeline of scene one, which is the scene, you know, the, the root scene. And I want to go into the timeline of the word flash, of the, of the text. So I'm going to do that by double-clicking the word. And as you can see, I'm in the timeline down here. And you can see up here, too, uh, scene one and then text that it's nested. So what I'm going to do is add maybe 20 frames and create some type of a shape animation. But before I do that, I'm going to break apart the text because right now it's a symbol. And a symbol, text as a symbol really can't be uh, manipulated. So by breaking it apart twice, I'll bring it into an object. So you see this is the first time. It's not objects yet. Now, as you can see, they're objects. So I'm going to add to frame 20, insert a keyframe, come back to frame 1, come back to frame 1 and create a shape tween. 
so there's nothing happening right now. So what I have to do is come to the very last frame and modify and I'm not going to modify it a real lot because that's where you would need uh, something called shape hints and it's in animate and what it does is you'd go to frame one You'd go to frame one and you'd go to the last frame and I'd the little circles you put on and I'd put a circle on the say the inside of the, the F right there. I'd bring it to the end and I'd put a circle on the inside of the F there so that it retains its basically recognizable shapes. It doesn't become all distorted. If you manipulate the text too much, what happens is it might distort into something unrecognizable. And again, that's where the shape hints, hints would be needed. But right here, it seems to be it seems to be working. So I'm going to go back to scene one, and I'm going to test movie. So you could see probably how you could use that in some ways to your advantage. Um, that's really not a huge uh, manipulation of text. So again, what you have to do is for this to work is you create the symbol first, then you break the text apart twice by going when you're in the text timeline by going to modify break apart twice, and and you by doing it twice you'll see the text actually turning into an object from a symbol. So hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.